a very good morning class 6 today we'll be talking about basic structures of cell till now you have studied how cell was discovered who were the inventors what is a cell now we'll talk about basic structure of cell that means in a cell what all organelles or structures are present and what are their functions even though most cells vary in their shapes and size and the basic structure is almost same okay the cell is like a tiny container that is bounded by a membrane, okay? So that membrane is known as cell membrane. Now, in the structure, you will see various membranes. There is an animal cell in the left-hand side and a plant cell on the right-hand side. As you can see, various parts of cell. You have a cell wall, you have cell membrane, you have nucleus, you have cytoplasm, you have mitochondria, you have ribosomes, you have centrioles, you have a rough endoplasmic reticulum, you have Golgi apparatus, you have a cell wall and there are various structures given in your figure. Now, when we'll talk these figures, we'll talk, take one by one the topic and we'll discuss what are its functions and what all it is used for. To keep a cell alive, all these organelles are used. These are the parts of cell. So, such organs are known as organelles. Okay. Now, each organelle has its own specific function to perform. Okay. So, first we will take one by one. But before that, you need to understand the main components of a typical cell are four in number. First is cell membrane. That means outer boundary. Cytoplasm that is jelly-like substance present and then you have a nucleus that is called the brain of the cell and then cell organelles what all names I have taken they are the cell organelles okay now we will discuss one by one their functions first comes is your cell membrane also known as plasma membrane very short time let's see what all are the functions of different cell organelles Cell membrane controls whatever enters inside or leaves the cell. Nuclear membrane is the membrane that surrounds the nucleus. It controls what enters and leaves the nucleus. Nucleus is the control center of the cell. Chromosome is an organelle that carries genetic information to the nucleus. Endoplasmic reticulum, it transports the material to the cell. Ribosome makes protein in the cell that helps the cell to grow ribosomes also uh, golgi bodies organelle packages proteins vacuole stores water lysosomes break down old cell parts and mitochondria provides energy to the cell so this is a short description about various cell parts and their functions that you have seen in the previous slide now we'll talk about cell membrane cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane and each cell is bounded by a thin delicate skin like membrane called cell membrane or plasma membrane it is also known as selectively permeable membrane because it allows only selective substances to pass through it that is useful for the cell okay it is elastic in nature at and enables the cell to stretch to some extent okay the function of a cell membrane is it gives definite shape to the cell it controls the movement of material in the cell it provides protection to the cell from injury then it uh, helps in diffusion of and osmosis it helps in water transportation also